to learn how to extract maximum from those short duration of three years when you are doing a residency. There are a few points to remember. Uh, embrace your cluelessness. Take criticism positively. Practice technical skills early. Expand your study material. Learn to have difficult conversations. And balance to avoid burnout. These tips are taken from um, AO Young Ophthalmologist section. Embrace your cluelessness. Accept that you are starting from square one. Learn to ask questions. Don't have your ego coming in front. Ask your faculties, ask your seniors. Keep it simple. Break down your goals into smaller objectives. Mark your progress every day. Whenever you see a new patient, go back, study about that patient. Decide your priorities. What is important? What you need to do? You have to decide during the residency, you have to learn. You have to study. You have to learn new things whenever you're seeing new patients every day. You cannot lag behind on those things. You cannot just see the patient and forget about it. You have to go back and study about it. Take constructive criticism positively. Build a good mentor-mentee relationship. Always come forward. If you make a mistake, ask your faculty what you did wrong. Ask them how to make it correct. Trust. Openness to advice, constructive criticism, and attention to details and mutual respect. Ask for feedback and implement on, on it. Whenever everyone, any senior is there with you, ask for the feedback on whatever work you're doing, whether it is in OPD, OT, or in indoor. Network as much as possible with your colleagues, with your teachers, and follow up. Whenever you are seeing a patient, follow up. What treatment has been given? What diagnosis has been given by your faculty? how you got to that treatment and how you got to that diagnosis. Keep asking. Keep asking how you do that. Only seeing that that is done won't give you the proper knowledge how to implement it. Practice technical skills early. Get into the wet lab. It's not necessary you have to start practical uh, technical skills in second year or third year. Start from the first year itself. Do wet lab training by yourself. Prepare, prepare as much as possible before going into OT. Learn to have good observation skills and follow up on every case you are doing. I hear and I forget. I see and I remember. I do and I understand. When you will do it yourself, then only you will understand what mistakes you are making and how to rectify it. This is for the faculties. A work based, uh, workplace based assessment should be implemented in a routine basis for the assessment of the residents on the basis of their technical skills and surgical skills. This was given by ICO Ophthalmology Society Competency Assessment Rubric for SICS. This direct observation of procedural skills should be available to the resident. There, should, uh, there can be an observer scope with a microscope that is being used in the um, OT so that they can directly see whatever you are doing, whatever the faculty is doing, what step is done in which way. And they can continue asking questions. If they have a prop, uh, they can ask why is it done in this way and is there any better method to do it? This is the same, video observation can be done if observer scope, scope is not available, a camera and a video system can be available. Expand your for, uh, study material, expand your knowledge base and learn. And House and wise by reading articles, textbooks, and journals. Read as much as possible. You read your textbooks and go through the new articles, advancements in every uh, cases, whatever you're seeing. Make a study plan. Learn and internalize information. Build up your muscle memory. Build up your clinical acumen. Maintain a logbook to perform your, uh, review your performance. Every day whenever you learn something new, maintain a logbook. You might not remember everything you hear from your faculties or everything you hear every day in the OPDs. Maintain a logbook, what you learned today, what you did today. That will help you assess your improvement. Attend CME and conferences. Watch YouTube videos, surgical videos before you enter OT every day. And online podcasts also help. Ask yourself. Whenever you're seeing any surgery being done by your faculties, ask, why was this movement executed in that particular manner? Why was the consequence, what are the consequences of this technique? Is there a more efficient way to accomplish the same objective? Linking such questions to mechanical experience 
is uh, encountered in your simulators and wet labs is very invaluable. Self-review is the best review for you all. These are some online resources that you can go through. There's an e-optha, cataract coach, or eye focus videos. These you can use to enhance your knowledge. Learn to have difficult conversations. Learn to communicate with your mentors. Ask them questions. Even if they get irritated, keep asking them questions. What do you want to know? What are the difficulties in diagnosis a patient? Learn to talk in public settings. Give uh, uh, papers, give your speeches. Learn to counsel patients. Whenever a patient is scared, learn to counsel them. What are the consequences of the treatment they are getting? What are the treatment uh, available, options available? Learn a workplace conflict resolution. Do not have conflicts between your colleagues. Learn to talk to them. Improve your penmanship and documentation skills. That is very important. Take a proper history and write it down properly. Take the proper follow-up chart so that you can assess what was the history given, what are the treatment given, and what are the, uh, the uh, improvement in the patient. Last is to balance, uh, balance to avoid burnout. You have three years, you have to work hard, but you have, do not have to work so hard that you don't want to do it anymore. You should be do getting some time. Take out one hour in a day, relax. Do something that you enjoy. T take time to pursue your hobbies and have a life beyond ophthalmology. Go with the flow, embrace your weakness, and build your strengths. Thank you. Uh, kids from anyone else would like to say anything? <laughs>